They are global partners. Yeah, we're, we're communicating with offices around the world constantly. Okay. And then just making local arrangements, um, liaising with people. If we get problems, we're, we're working, working around the problems, come up with a solution for our customers. Okay. And just, you know, if, they, if occasionally you get a, a no, then we, we're not going to say no to our client. We're going to come up with a solution for the client. We're not just going to say, look, you can't do that. Maybe you can't operate to a particular airport, but you give a suggestion of this is the nearest one that you can operate to. You know, we'll look at ground transportation when you get there. We'll look at other arrangements with our charter department, whether we can do something locally, maybe a smaller aeroplane to operate into a smaller air airport, okay. and uh, just come up with a solution that is, is the closest match to what the client's actually are. One of, one of the most interesting ones for me was a call I had um, on a weekend. So the call came in, and uh, the request was the the aircraft owner wished to fly to Paris, but um, his wife, who could no longer travel, wanted the complete first-class carriage of a Eurostar train booked just for her, the nanny, and the child. And as you can imagine, Saturday afternoon was quite an interesting call. However, between us and our travel department, um, which is just next door to us, this particular floor is designed um, for a, a total flow of information. Um, if you imagine we're um, we're working, obviously, the, the various stations around the, around the world, the various customers, the guardians, uh, all to bring a trip together. Um, and then we have travel next door that are looking after our uh, international travel for our, our pilots, our crews, some of our direct customers. Um, so between us and travel, we managed to put together a plan. We, we bought the whole of a first-class carriage of a Eurostar train and uh, got our aircraft owner to Paris on his aircraft and got his wife and children and the nanny um, over, to, uh, over to Paris uh, to meet up with him. So, uh, you know, that's, that's quite an unusual request. It's effectively a concierge service over and above getting the aeroplanes from A to B, which is our, our primary role in here is to, uh, to deliver the operational side of the business um, to our customers, which are our guardians in turn of the aircraft owners or our charter salespeople who in turn their customers are the aircraft or aircraft charter brokers and the um, even we even sub charter for uh, for some of our owners if their aircraft are on maintenance we'll, we'll bring an aircraft in if we can't cover it within fleet um, obviously number one priority is to cover it in fleet but if we can't we never say no 